Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going Q3 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 95, Fine X or Beauty of Array. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So this one is kind of tricky. Um, I actually took a while on this one, um, just debugging silly things, but also just being careful, I think, on this one. Um, th so the first thing, obviously, to note is that, and I hope you didn't do it, is looking at n, and n is 10 to the fifth. And of course, that means that um, n cube things are too slow. So, and this problem is kind of annoying, um, but I, I would say, and I, you know, this is not a 100% rule for sure, but the first thing I see when I see XOR, um, not all the time, but like I said, when I see XOR, I think about, the first thing I would recommend breaking it down is to do it bit by bit. and. When you kind of look at the problem as a whole, there's the XOR, which is obviously a bitwise operation. Um, there's the bitwise OR, it's in the name, and bitwise N, also in the name, right? Bitwise operations. And uh, and given that those bitwise operations, you can you can reduce thinking about it one bit at a time, meaning that um, you could think about it instead of one problem where you try to get these numbers, you could think about it as 32 problems or 64, depending on if you want to do ints or longs, um, problems where, you know, it's just zeros and ones, and then you combine them in a parallel kind of way. Um, I mean, you don't have to actually do it in parallel, but that's how I would think about it. And then now, after that, if it becomes, okay, let's say I have a, an a, n element array of zeros and ones, and then it's about analyzing this formula, right? Um, so there's n cubed, number of things again too many things so then now looking at this form the first thing that i notice is that this n thing right so this n thing means that for each um you know when you extort all these things together and what it means that is that if this formula is zero um if this form this is so weird because of the line warping let me just copy here if this thing is zero then it, it doesn't change the XOR, right? If this thing is one, then it just flips the XOR by one, right? So then now, if this thing is zero, let's go over the cases, right? If this thing is zero, what makes this thing a zero? Well, this thing makes this a zero if this is a zero, right? That's it. Um, it doesn't matter anything else. If this thing is a zero if this is a zero, right? It, um, and it doesn't, yeah. So then now, it's almost like a case analysis. And then now, what, ha what happens if this is a one? Well, if this is a one, um, you know, if no, k is equal to one, then what happens? Well, there are n squared type of these things, which is still too slow. But then now, we can think, well, how do we get zeros here? Well, we only get zeros here if num sub i is equal to zero, num sub j is equal to zero. So if this is true, then the only case that this is zero, these, this could be zero, is that these are both zeros, right? So that's basically the, the idea, is that then now, what, how, what are the number of ones? It's everything that is not this case, right? So the inverse of this, it's going to give us ones. So now let's count independently what this means. What this means now is that, um, you know, how many numbers of K, how many counts are there, right? So here, you know, we just do a count. We do a for loop, do a count. So now let's just say we have some number X, X number of these, right? And then now we also count number of zeros. This in this case, we actually be um, N minus X. And this is also N minus X, right? I actually did this in a for loop for some reason. Hmm. I guess I didn't. I, I guess I could reduce this now that if th now that it is clear. Uh, huh. But <laughs> I guess I might as well just do it here. But yeah. Um, but yeah. There's x of these, and then there's only these. So then now x times n minus x times n minus x is going to be the number number of results with zero. Uh, so that means that for this to be a one, it will be just x 
times n my times n minus n minus x times n minus x, right? Um, and you could write it in both ways, right? So this is the number of results of zeros, and these are the number of total results, right? Because there's n of these, n of these, so n squared, and x of these, right? So this is going to be number of results with ones. And then now you just have to total up. And then now if, if the number of results with ones is odd, then the you know, then you, basically you just, you know, you could see this by using XOR itself. If you XOR one um, odd number of times, you're going to get one. Otherwise, it's zeros, right? So that's basically the idea, um, and I hope I walk through the intuition enough to go through what it means. Um, and then, because then afterwards, the code is pretty straightforward because it's just this. Um, yeah. Hmm. And I actually did a second for loop, uh, as you saw, but... You can also see that you can optimize this pretty quickly. The server also was pretty slow today in general. I was having a bunch of issues with the server speed. Um, I don't know. But, hmm. but yeah, uh, so what is the complexity of this? Well, the complexity, this is going to be all of 32, but also all of log n, if you will, or all of log, not this n, sorry. Look a lot, r, r, where r is equal to 2 to the 32. Uh, right, and then this one is obviously O of n. Um, I mean, I did an extra loop, but it doesn't even matter, right? Um, so yeah, so in total, this is going to be O of n log r time, and in that case, it's n of um, uh, what am I doing? O of one space or O of r space because you just need a couple of variables to kind of sum these up. Um, and in fact, this is actually a bit so. Yeah, but you still need well. Well, this this thing will be a bit eh, whatever. It, it's close enough. Lo all of our space. Um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have issues with it, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest. Now, miss what this problem, huh? And somehow it's just right for the example case. I totally misread it. <laughs> uh, find X or beauty of an array. Okay. 11 pure got it because they didn't make a silly mistake on Q2 and solve it twice. Exorbity, all possible triplets. Exoring, okay. Mm, what is this again? Okay. Hmm. So I, J, and K. So that means that each number will have itself for sure, right? And then what, one, one, and four, well, the or, well, if it's itself, then it's just itself. Okay, that means that for each bit. Hmm. Okay, so on the end side, I mean, it's something like, mm, so for each bit, what are we doing? We're counting the numbers of things here, and then I and J, right? And then we just count the number of things. Okay. I mean, this is doable. I just have to think. Okay. Um, so for each one of these, we count the number of previous things. No, then it's just the number of Hmm. 
Okay. Maybe. Okay, so that's okay. And then here, so no. So then otherwise, um, zeros is equal to. No, not yet. Hmm. So then C minus count, it's going to be the number of zeros, and then that times itself, right? It's the only possible thing. And then otherwise, it is, yeah, C c minus this right it's going to be the number of things and then yeah okay fine this is just the number of things um okay and f t Hmm, whatever. I guess we can mod this by two. Uh, T is equal to C, well, or mm, something like. Something like this, maybe. So that the opposite of it. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, 54, not 34. Did I get this wrong? Hmm. Hmm, let's see. Oh, because this is counting all the other ones. I'm, I'm count, over counting. Okay. So that means that, no, that's not true, is it? But I am under counting one of, because no, if this is zero, then we don't add it anyway. It doesn't change the effective value. If this is a one, then all the previous, the only case that this is a zero is all the zero, so any other Example would be a one, right? So what is wrong about this? Hmm. Why is this giving me fifty-four? I'm really bad today. Oh, I know. Because I meant C should be C plus one. That's why. I, I thought about that when I was writing it, but I wrote it wrong. Hmm, okay, that didn't matter though. Maybe this is not including this. Hmm, that's just wrong though. I think this is maybe right, but still. Or like this is as right as the other one anyway. Okay, 
so this could be any of those zeros times any of those zeros. This is the number of possibilities with this being one. Today I am not doing so well, but okay, so zero, yeah, let's see. Okay, so zero just looks at zero, okay, that's fine, probably good. And then for the one, mm, let's not do the mod two part and then see. I mean, that shouldn't change anything, but I wanted to debug. Okay, so zero is one because zero, zero, zero. Okay, so that gives me a one. And then now when it goes to one, Basically, it's four possibilities of a one, and I'm doing it wrong, that's why, because the zero should actually count all the other ones as well. Okay, fine. I thought I did, it counted it that way, but I think I'm just being dumb. Uh, just one of those days. Okay, I am being dumb. It's also my two, just for fun. Mm, really silly today yeah thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think about this prom this contest everything in between um yeah stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later take care bye bye